Mega Man 2 is such a special game to me, and in my opinion, one of the strongest aspects of this game is the boss fights. These one-on-one -on -one clashes have given me some of my most fond childhood memories. Now, I wouldn't say that any of the boss fights in Mega Man 2 are particularly hard. Sure, there's still some that may give me a run for my money, but there's one boss fight that as a kid was the bane of my existence. It's a boss so terrible that I believe it's one of, if not the worst boss fight in video game history. This is the Boo Beam Trap from Mega Man 2. And it's Boo Beam. Boo Beam. Not Boobies. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I gotta talk about the build-up to this boss fight. Mega Man 2 has 14 levels. Level 13 is just a boss rush, and level 14 is a short platforming section with a relatively simple final boss. So level 12 is the true proper final level, and it's the hardest level in the game. The hallway right before the boss can be particularly difficult. So you've just finished the hardest part of the game, and you're now greeted with Boo Beam. At first this boss doesn't look like much. All you have to do is navigate through this maze and use crash bombs to destroy these domes. Once you've destroyed all the domes, you beat the boss. Simple, right? Oh no. Now I know there's people who beat this boss without taking any damage and they say it's super easy. And as an adult, I don't think this is a hard boss. But as a kid, this is the part of the game I was stuck on the most. And looking back, I can't help but notice that this boss's design is not great. First off, other than Flash Stopper and Atomic Fire, Crash Bomber has the lowest amount of weapon ammo out of any of the other weapons in the game. You only have 7 Crash Bombs to take out 5 Boo Beams, and that's if you have maximum bombs in your inventory. That doesn't sound too bad, until you realize there's walls that protect some of the Boo Beams, which you need to use Crash Bombs to break. Look at this, there's more things to destroy than there are crash bombs in your inventory. However, if you look closely, you'll realize only two of the walls are actually blocking the boo beams. So that means in order to get every boo beam destroyed, you have to use items 1 and 3. You see, as you progress through Mega Man, you get items 1, 2, and 3. These are abilities that let you spawn different platforms that help you get across gaps and reach higher places. You have to use these platforms in this boss fight to awkwardly maneuver around the barricades. The most annoying part about this is whenever you shoot a bomb, you have to wait until it explodes before you're able to use another weapon. This works the same way with the items. You have to wait until the platforms despawn before you can shoot a bomb. The reason why this is so awful is because of the way the boss attacks you. Boo Beam has one attack, and it's shooting lightning fast projectiles that are impossible to dodge unless you are in the middle of the stage. At least it seemed this way when I was a kid. And even if you're in the middle of the stage, it's ridiculous how precise it is. That's why it's so cheap that you have to wait to shoot a crash bomb or use the platforms. Because if you're stuck in a certain area in the boss room, you're getting hit no matter what. Okay, watch here. I'm taking care of this boo beam with a crash bomb, but now I'm stuck in this tiny little area and have barely any room to dodge the projectiles and I have to wait until the crash bomb explodes before I can use a platform to escape. So, I get hit. Thing is, I'm not doing anything wrong here. This is what I'm supposed to do and I get punished for it. And somehow, it gets even worse because of this one specific boo beam is placed in the most awkward spot possible. If I could, I would just break this wall and destroy the boo beam as normal, but as I said, you don't have enough ammo for that. 
I understand that you can position the bomb in a way where it destroys both the boo beam and this barrier blocking this boo beam. That definitely does make this easier, but I had no clue how to do this when I was a kid, so I went about destroying this boo beam in the most difficult way possible. I would use item 1 to barely shimmy my way up there to position myself to hit the boo beam with the crash bomb. This would mean that I would always be exposed to getting hit because I'm standing right in front of it to hit it. And half the time my head would hit a ceiling and the platform would just despawn and I'd have to start the whole process all over again, all the while the boo beam trap is just firing away at me. I would always die at this part, and when you die at this boss fight, you get the worst punishment possible. Normally, when you die in a Mega Man game, you get sent back to the last checkpoint, and you have enough enemies along the way to stock up on all the lost ammo that you need to refill, since the game doesn't refill the ammo that you use during the boss fight. The same happens here, except now all your crash bombers are gone, and there's virtually no way to get them back. You can try farming enemies here to try and get weapon ammo, but it's very difficult to do without dying because the enemies are either placed in really hard to reach locations or you're fighting some of the hardest enemies in the game. So you know what I would do as a kid? I'd get a game over, because when you get a game over, your weapon ammo automatically refills. But that's the worst part about this. I have to get a game over. I have to lose all of my lives. And at this point in the game, you have like 15 lives. So you have to die, and then watch the cutscene and come back, and then repeat that process 15 times until you finally game over, and then you have to start the whole level over again, get back to the boss fight, and then probably fail again and restart the whole process again. This one part probably took me weeks to beat as a kid. So, how did I beat this boss? Well... That's right, we're gonna cheat. Yep, you can cheat to beat this boss by spamming the pause button right before the boo beams shoot at you. You can avoid the projectiles without getting hit. It's that simple. Still, I don't think this is a hard boss today, but the fact that I had to use a glitch in order to beat this boss as a kid really says a lot about it. And honestly, even to this day, I hate playing this boss fight. When you really break it down, it's just not a fun boss to fight. I understand now that it really isn't that hard, but man, the scars of the past do not heal. They may fade, but they never fully heal. Anyways, I just wanted to share a particularly awful experience that I had in a video game that I love. So what's the worst boss fight that you've ever played in a video game? I want to hear all your stories. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my- <laughs>